In this video, I'll show you how to throw knives like this using touch controls. So yeah, let's get started. So here in Unity, I have got this cool knife sprite which I'll put a link in the description and this tree here to hit it with this box collider and this brown with this box collider. So we want to throw knife at the tree using our finger. So, so for that we need to make a script here. So right click here, create C sharp script and I'll name it knife throw. And you can just name it whatever you want. So let's enter. And now let's open this up inside of Visual Studio. Alright, so in here, let's first make a game object that will be the knife that we will throw. And a vector 2 here for the direction that we want to throw the knife at. And another vector 2 to store the start position. So let's call the start board another vector 2 that will store the end position all right so once we done this let's go to the update method now and in here we will check if there are any touches on the screen so input dot touch count if it is greater than zero well if that's the case we will make a touch variable to store the information about the first touch so let's call it touch1 and let's set it equal to input dot touches I think and because the array starts from 0 let's put 0 here. Alright now we can check if touch1 is in the beginning phase meaning that the player has touched the screen. So so touch1 dot phase is, is equal to touch phase dot here begin. So and if it has we will set the start position to the position of our touch here but we also need to convert it into the world space first so camera dot man to screen dot world point and here we will just put in our touch one dot position so that will give us the position in the world space all right let's copy this and paste it down here and instead of begin we will check if the touch has ended so let's put ended here and instead of the start position we will set the end position to the position of our touch here all right now let's go down here and make another function for the knife throw so let's make void and call it throw and inside of this function we will do all the throwing stuff and let's call this throw function up here and let's go inside of this throw method here we will calculate the direction which will be equal to end position minus the start position and we also need to normalize this vector so let's just put this inside a bracket and normalize this so that it will always return a value between 0 and 1 awesome now we can use this direction to apply the force so knife dot get component and we will get the rigid body 2d component of this knife and add force to it so the direction that we want to add the force will be this direction that we calculated multiply by let's not hardcore this here let's go up and make a public float up here for the power so let's make a public float call it power and now let's multiply this with power all right but we also need to do another thing here so let's copy this and paste it here and we will set the is kinematic is equal to false here all right i'll show you why we are doing this in a moment so that's all we need to do here let's just add back inside of unity and let's select the knife first we will have to add the polygon collider to our knife here so let's add the polygon collider to this and a rigid body 2d also all right and make sure you change the body type to is kinematic so this is why we set the is kinematic to false in the script so yeah now let's select the camera here 
drag and drop this knife throw script into the camera. Alright, so let's drag and drop the knife in here. And set the power to I think 2000. So yeah, you can play around with this and set it to whatever value you like. So yeah, let's go ahead and try this out now. Awesome, so we can now throw out the knife using the touch control. But let's let's just quickly add the restart button to our game here first. So go to the knife throw script and here we will check if the player has pressed the R key and if he does well we will just restart the game. So let's, let me just quickly do it. Scene manager here. scene manager dot load scene and we will just load the zero because our scene is at zero index awesome so now let's just go back inside of unity again and restart our game so let's hit play so yeah everything's working very nicely but neither does the knife rotate nor does it stick to the tree it just falls down to the ground when it hits the tree so we want the knife to stick to the tree so let's just go back and select our knife here and we will make another script for the knife so let's call this knife script all right and now let's open this script up Firstly let's make a private boolean up here and call this scan rotate and set this equal to false because we don't want the knife to rotate straight away and, and also make a public float for the rotation speed. And now inside of the update method, so yeah the update method here, we will write transform dot rotate and set the x and y axis to 0 because we don't want any uh, rotation on those axes and here in the z axis we will set it to rotation speed and multiply by the time dot delta time okay but we also need to check if we if can rotate is equal to true to rotate this okay so now down here let's call the unity's on collision inter function so on collision enter 2d collision 2d here let's call this call and inside of this we will just set the can rotate is equal to false and here you might be wondering that this can rotate boolean never gets true and yeah we will do that in the knife throw script so let's go into the knife throw script and here inside of the throw method we'll type in knife dot get component and we will get the knife script and we will ok but we also have to make the can rotate to public so let's put a public here let's save this go back and set this equal to true so now the knife will start rotating when we throw it. So let's go back inside of unity and here set the rotation speed to let's say minus 300 and you can set it to positive if it works for you and here I will set the power to 1500 and let's throw the knife. Awesome, so it rotates and as soon as it hits something, it just falls out to the ground, which is pretty cool. Now we just want to make this stick to the tree so that it doesn't fall off. So yeah, let's do that right now. So now let's go back to the knife script. And here we will make a private reference to the widget body 2D. Let's call this, I think, let's call it RB. And inside of the start method, we will get the rigid body 2D component of attached to this knife. So, rigid body 2D. Alright, so now let's go down. 
So here when the knife collides with something, we will set the rigid body velocity of this knife to vector 2.0 and also the we will set the body type of this rigid body to is kinematic so let's set it to true and yeah let's also freeze the rotation so freeze rotation is equal to true here so yeah it kind of looks good so now let's head back inside of unity and here we will make sure that there are no errors here and there are not so let's go ahead and play now awesome it actually looks good so now we can just throw the knife and it sticks to the tree awesome so yeah it is kind of annoying having to restart after each throw we could also have the knives to respawn when we throw one but I've already covered that in another video so if you want to add that functionality to the game go check this out I'll put a link to in the description so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please subscribe to my youtube channel and until next time see ya